St. Teresa of Avila, mystic, doctor of the church, 1515 to 1582. Teresa was the daughter of a wealthy Spanish merchant. Though she became a nun at 20, her vocation initially had little to do with the love of God. The Carmelite convent in Avila was quite lax, more a boarding house for wealthy maidens than a house of prayer. At the age of 39, however, Teresa experienced a powerful conversion. Filled with loathing for her spiritual mediocrity, she determined to devote herself more seriously to prayer and more to establish a new reformed Carmelite community. Her campaign of reform became the foundation for the discalced, shoeless Carmelites, a reference to their strict poverty. Given that she was a woman and a reformer who based her authority on private visions, Teresa's activities entailed considerable risk. In fact, she was subjected to investigation by the Inquisition. Nevertheless, she surmounted all obstacles, including sickness, hunger, and poverty, sustained by an extraordinarily intense communion with God. Teresa could be a turns charming, imperious, irreverent, and impossible, depending on the circumstances and the provocation. But there was little doubt among any she encountered that her courage and wisdom were rooted in a special relationship with God. Apart from the community she established, she produced several classic volumes of mystical theology. She experienced frequent ecstasies in which it seemed her heart had been pierced by God's love. By any standard, she was one of the towering figures of her age and of all Christian history. She died in 1582 and was canonized 40 years later. In 1970, she was the first woman named a doctor of the church. Quote, let nothing disturb you, nothing dismay you. All things are passing, God never changes. Patient endurance attains all things, God alone suffices." End quote.